Hi guys, this is Sydney. Today's makeup tutorial will be a picture perfect party makeup look with flawless skin and pink brown eye makeup. And when I was thinking about doing a party makeup, I was initially thinking of like gold eye and red lips. But ever since I got my personal color consultation, I know these colors look the best on me. So I thought I would do something different and try something that would look a lot more flattering on me. So first things first, we're going to start off with the base. As you guys may know i love very glowy and dewy skin so we're gonna start off with this pearly base all over the face and it just instantly gave me a really glowy and dewy skin look which i love and like I said, I want the skin to be extra flawless today because we're going to be taking a lot of photos. As you can see, my skin isn't actually that flawless at the moment. So I'm going to try to combat that using these new Etude House Play 101 Stick Color Contour Duos, which has three different shades. I've been super tired lately, so my skin's been looking quite uneven and very dark, especially under the eyes. So I'm firstly going to take shade number one, which is called Blue Out, and this one basically has a peach orange and a yellow shade on it so I'm gonna take the peach orange shade under the eyes because it's really good at counteracting the blueness and purpliness under the eyes and then the yellow one is really good at toning up certain areas so I decided to take it in between my eyes on the nose bridge keep it by high points of my cheeks and in between my brows as well because I want those areas to kind of look brighter and higher on my face the best shade to counteract the redness is a minty and a blue color so i'm gonna take shade number two which is called red out and i'm gonna take the mint one on my spots and the blue one around the nose where it's especially red so i think i knew most of this up to this point but when i saw shade number three dark out i wasn't really sure where to use it apparently they're really good at brightening the darker areas of your face so i'm firstly gonna take this lavender shade around my lips and to give extra brightness to the darker part of my face, I decided to take it on my forehead where it's actually quite darker than the rest of my face. So I'm looking very funny here, but I'm going to start blending it using these three dance sponges. I'm going to start off from under the eyes first, so I'm going to blend all the peach, orange and the yellow shades. And then grabbing another sponge, I'm going to blend all the mint and the blue shades. And lastly, grabbing another sponge, I'm going to blend all the lavender and the pink shades. It was actually my first time doing a color contouring using six different colors and I think it's really convenient because each stick has two different colors. When I think about the color correcting, I immediately think about higher end brands, but I really like how affordable brands like Etchy House came out with an upgraded version, which is color contouring. And I'm just really glad how color contouring products have become so accessible and affordable in the market. And before finishing off the base with my foundation, I decided to use the mint one once again on my very red spots. And I moved right on to the foundation, which is the Play 101 Stick Foundation in shade number 3. And this one is actually like the perfect match for my skin, so I really like how it looks on my skin. And I'm going to blend that out using my damp sponge once again. And I took the stick foundation once again on the areas where I need extra coverage. So we're done with the flawless looking base and it's time to move on to the brows. To shape and fill in my brows, I'm taking this brow pencil in the shade Ash Brown. And I'm basically making it quite straight but with a slight arch. And then taking the stick foundation once again with my concealer brush, I am just cleaning around the brows. And obviously I'm going to do the same to the other eyebrow. Like I said, today's eye makeup is going to be very pinky, so I'm grabbing this eyeshadow palette with a lot of pink tones and I'm grabbing this Dusty Rose Matte Shade and Pastely Pink Matte Shade as a base eyeshadow today. So I'm taking that all over the lids and slightly through the crease for the hint of pink showing through the eyeshadow.
Then I'm grabbing this super sparkly rose goldish eyeshadow and I'm mixing it up with this red brown shimmery shade from the palette and I'm basically using my finger to really pack it on the lids for a really high pigmentation on the eyes. I haven't been wearing this kind of sparkly shades on the lids lately but I just think it's so pretty and it's just appropriate for the season. Here I'm grabbing the Dusty Rose Matte Shade once again to blend the eyeshadows out. Then from the same palette I am grabbing this matte dark chocolatey shade and placing it right in the outer parts of my eyes for extra depth and smokiness to the eye makeup. I am grabbing the Dusty Rose shade once again to do further blending and with a smaller brush I'm grabbing the same shade and going over the bottom lash line. And then I'm grabbing this pastel pink matte shade with this champagne shimmery shade with pink glitters to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. To tight line my eyes, I am using a brown pencil liner and I'm taking this brown pen liner to go over the inner parts of my eyeliner because it's so much easier and just convenient to draw thinner lines with this kind of pen liners instead of pencil liners. And then grabbing the brown pencil liner once again, I am doing the wings. I'm making it quite dramatic because it's a party makeup look and I'm using my concealer brush again to clean up the wings and making it look more crisp. For that extra party bling, I am taking the sparkly rose gold shade in the very inner part of my lids again. Then lastly for the eyeshadow, I am taking the pastel pink matte shade to do the final blending of the eyeshadows. Then it's time to curl the lashes and I'm gonna apply my usual mascara fixer and my mascara. This mascara has already given me a lot of length and volume but I wanted to go all out and apply some individual lashes so I'm applying 5 of these 10mm individual lashes on each eye. So those are the lashes on and for this look I wanted to do something different so I decided to apply these pink sparkly glitter hearts in the very centre of my bottom lash line. If you think it's a bit too much you can always stop before the heart glitters. So that's the glitters on and I thought I could get away with a bit more pinkiness on the bottom lash line so I grabbed this matte hot pink shade mixed with matte dusty rose shade and went over my bottom lash line. That's it for the eyes and it's time to go back to the face and I'm taking my favourite eyeshadow to contour my nose to give some definition and I'm taking the same colour with a bigger brush and going over the outer parts of my face for the appearance of smaller and slimmer face and I'm taking this very natural liquid highlighter to highlight my forehead, my nose, cupid's bow and chin. And then it's my favourite time of my entire makeup routine which is the blusher and I'm taking this lavender pink shade which goes really well with the pinkish eye makeup so I'm carefully placing that on my cheeks. And I wasn't sure what kind of lip shade would go well with this kind of makeup look so I decided to play around and show you guys different lip options. So firstly I took this matte pink lipstick all over the lips and blended it carefully by rubbing my lips together. And grabbing this really unique purpley pink pencil, I am placing it in the very centre of my lips to come up with this kind of purpley pinkish lip which goes really well with the rest of the makeup. I actually really like how the lips turned out but I wanted to give you guys a different lip option that is not as purple and slightly more wearable so I'm taking this gorgeous toned down dusty rose blending pencil and I honestly really love this pencil by itself but I wanted the lips to be slightly brighter so I'm taking this vibrant dusty rose shade in the very center of my lips to brighten up the lip color and this is how it turned out which I really like too. 
so that is really it for my picture perfect flawless skin with pink brown makeup i hope you guys are having amazing christmas and really enjoying the very last bit of 2016 and i'll see you guys again very soon with my next video bye merry christmas